<laughs> all right so you guys this welcome back to another section of this video okay this video is actually two parts so we've talked about the first part and this second part is going to be work experience like because we're all nurses all of us are all nurses so we, we're all in the same uh, business so we do the same thing literally so we literally have the same experience so far but individually we might have like different experiences but similar like similarities in there so we're talking about this experience we've had uh so far in the uk so yeah let's start with our uh, mommy nick what's a real work experience mm. so far don't hide don't filter oh. don't filter your mouth just mm. say don't be like a work brother <laughs> <laughs> just me. Yes. Okay. Tell us. Okay. Um. Honestly, is a whole lot. Like okay. every day, there is a new and different experience. Um. That those some of which are most of which are bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Most of which are bad. <laughs> then on the other side, they are good ones anyway. Mm -hmm. But for me, the first shock I had on my first week of Starting, yeah, starting work at my ward, right? Is the hostile reception oh. from my colleagues. My manager received me well, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because she was the one that received me. She received me well. Mm -hmm. But you know that time when you are sent into the go forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> go for and then you come in. You know that's that's my god everywhere was speaking speaking hostility yeah. hostility you know people are like who is this person what have yeah. you come to do yeah. like you are in a wrong place yeah. fixing yeah. your yeah. mind are you the only black girl no 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 and that was even what gave me i'm coming to, that was even what gave me the confidence because when yeah. other people that were ahead of me yeah. no told me like we that experienced the same, same thing, thing. So like it's done to me that oh it's not even about me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh -huh. Because every one of them had this. If I some had more terrible experience, mm -hmm. I had to I had to even turn to uh what is it called? Can comforter. Yeah. Yeah. Comfort comfort them. Them. Literally someone will come into work and we are handing over the person is already crying. I'm oh, I'm not joking. My word in particular is even very crazy. Oh Jesus Christ, my word. Ah <laughs> God. It's so crazy. it's not funny. It's 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 been um 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 not too good journey but just like i told myself on that first week i want to, let me not say i was depressed actually but i felt so sad that at a point i was going back home on that first shift and i'm like i just want to go home Aww. i want to go back to my country no this is not it why will i feel less of myself why would somebody make me feel that well, we i'm you understand yeah. like what is this you know it was it was so loud it was so they won't come to tell it to your face yeah but yeah, they have to be they are smiling at you mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. yeah. it was so loud it got to a point i think uh, uh some days later when, when something they call supernumerary here yeah so that when you come to a new place they will give you to an old nurse yeah. to work with the person so that yeah. you can watch how things are being done yeah. and so i was giving this old nurse and me and my friends were located to um this old nurse and she was just doing stores without even so noticing that we are there. Yeah, there. You don't understand. Like, like my friend had to turn and tell me in Igbo, like, are we invisible? <laughs> if you don't understand, they'll know. be bringing out something, you know, something that you can literally do. You know these things, but they will make you feel that the schooling you had back home so was on kindergarten. <laughs> and that feeling is not good. You know, I kept saying it, um, weeks into the job that NHS is stressful on itself, yeah. truthfully. So you don't need environmental stress yeah. at your Actually, place of work. Yeah. You don't need it, believe me. Yeah. You need when you come in, you need all the support you need, yeah. all the good words. You know, someone you look at you and be like you're doing Encouragement. well. Yeah. You understand? Because it's not easy on its own. So you don't need yeah. when you are working, you are tiptoeing. Yeah. You are under on, on tension, like yeah. Uh, is someone watching me? Yeah. Does anyone want to pick What's up on me? At yeah. some point, the delay did that people were under. The, at some point did she actually notice you guys did she actually start supporting you guys yeah the truth is um before the it is a tough early she so she mm. can't just behave like that throughout the shift mm. i noticed that one happened that she got tired oh okay mm. Mm. Yeah. at the middle of the shift yeah. exactly you know that kind of thing when your yeah. mom be like i'll wash the plate yeah. i'll sweep the water yeah. don't worry yeah. at that point she's really tired she'll not be like mm -hmm. come on man. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing so yeah. at the point because i didn't see from the place of that she really realized 
what she was doing. I said I don't know that she was tired. She had help. She and you know, sometimes yeah. teaching can be quite draining. Yeah. It yeah. is, and actually. you are teaching and you are working. Mm. But the thing There's is, no have, time. Yeah, but I understand that fact. I understand yeah. that fact. But I, I wasn't even asking her for... See, let me just give the scenario. We're doing meds, right? Okay. Medication is something I've been doing since I graduated from nursing school. Okay. It's not like <laughs> it's not like it's <laughs> doing me. What I expected was like, okay, we are doing meds. Get right, out so. dr- drugs from the cupboard. Okay. This person bring that into and the pot yeah. while you are calling it out on yeah. the you know the yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 that thing. Not that you sit and tell me, okay, I'm a is a PPI. The indication yeah, is you know, that that for it to go and yeah. 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 It's quite different. different. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's none of their business. You know, it's pharmacy. Yeah. That's why they have the Just know what the job is. Sometimes they don't give me. Yeah, so it's fine. I'm not trying to throw it. Yeah, I get what you are saying, my dear. So that's just the thing. So it was that frustrating. You know, you come to work, you are not feeling like you are working. Mm. I can remember just last week, I was talking with a colleague in the same ward, and I'm like, you know, sometimes you're on leave, you feel like coming back to work. She said, I've never felt that way. Mm. And I'm like, seriously, said, I can't, there's no morning or night I'm coming to a shift in this world, and I feel like I'm happy going to work. It was, it's that bad, you know. And, and I really miss work when I'm off duty. You see? Yeah. Because I'm so, a local yeah. that. Yeah. I'm, 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 like, in the hospital. I'm even surprised she's saying it. Although at the first time, it was like this. But mm. my preceptor was very nice. Mm. She's a very lovely mm-hmm. lady. I mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. anywhere. Mm. She's a very lovely lady. She's mm. kind. She's mm. nice. She took you. She literally, she literally tell you, do this, do this. So that way you mm. understand. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I know what. And, 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 and something else I noticed about this, our job is. You learn on the job. Exactly. Yes. No one is going to come and tell you yeah. this is this. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. you're doing. True. You're learning. Yeah. And you're making mistakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're learning from me. I've made mine. T- I trust me. Um, and I, I thank God for my manager as well because she was very. She took it like very well. Mm. She made me reflect on it. I did everything and then anyway, that's I'm gonna I mean, I mean, I get to my hand, I'm gonna say mine. So yeah, let's just allow you to say yes. You know. So just like I said earlier on, it's a whole lot. You can't even talk about everything yeah. but these are just the striking parts when you come you are you are not feeling good yeah. you are working you are not yeah. okay i'm just waiting for the shift to end so i can go back yeah. and That's find great. peace yeah. do you understand i was telling my husband i think this week yeah the last shift i did this week and i'm like the work was stressful today said i didn't have to get my break mm. but i didn't feel the stress of the war because the environment was calm yeah it wasn't tense mm. i think also i had to leave anything on the Colleagues, exactly. Yeah, well, that is the point I'm making. The colleagues are actually it's not even no that just no even patient sometimes. Yeah. It's even your colleagues that you feel you are they, they are waiting for you to like mm. make enemies. It's the way they you treat, just, like you said, there are mistakes to be made. Yeah. Even them, they do be made. They like, know. But when they like someone is waiting for you, so they that mistake on me. Yeah. Or, you get on so that that su- that support wasn't there. Honestly, like she said about her preceptor. Truthfully mm-hmm. speaking, my preceptor is a nice. Pe- in fact, she's one the the nice of all of them in in my world. She's yeah. the nicest. But unfortunately, I don't even get to work with her all the time because she's always on night duty and stuff. Yeah. So the the time I got to work with her, I I told her to your to her face. I say thank you for being nice Aww. because sometimes you don't know what an act of kindness can thank do you. to someone else. Do you understand? Yeah. And it doesn't even take much to be kind. Just no. be kind. Yeah. That's one thing I took out from my experience when I came into the hospital, especially in my world. Mm-hmm. I told myself, "Nay, nee, just be kind." Yeah. A little kindness you show people, you don't know how it can oh, calm their mental nerves oh, and yeah. all of this. Yeah. Just be kind to Sometimes people. Sometimes they might not even know what you are even doing. You, 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 your mind might not really want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you, don't even know that you don't even know the amount of uh, pressure based on the next person. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, you don't even know. I mean, you don't intend to put that mm-hmm. pressure, yeah. but yeah. you don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the day, end up causing people mm-hmm. and going by. You don't even know people in hot. Yeah, truthfully speaking, yeah, then I just have to say the, the good experiences, not just they are but, not all um, bad, truthfully, yeah. they are not. I get to, I've learned a whole lot within this few months. Mm-hmm. I've I've handled some skills that I know I wouldn't have ever no, done no. if I was back home, yeah. truthfully. I've that career progression, that's yeah. that knowledge, I've, mm-hmm. I've really gained a lot. Mm-hmm. Do you understand on that side? To be mm-hmm. fair, 
because it's not it's not really all about being bad and whatever yeah. whatever there are some good parts mm -hmm. and just like i said there are also some nice people like the preceptor i mentioned mm -hmm. and few other persons that can be like i got to you know mm -hmm. do your thing and be confident in yourself yeah. do you understand because those things what they were trying to achieve for some people it really got to them is fear yeah. but that's what i told myself i told myself the very first week i started work when i felt that bad i wanted to go home mm -hmm. and i encouraged myself in the lord and i said Ada, give yourself six months. Mm. And by six months, so you, should be you will look back at this first week mm. and it's nowhere exactly. to be found I mean, again. It's not Do you understand? Nobody expects said, someone to just, just come to a place and then you're already you know, on the ball. No. Time. Don't feel that, oh God. Because that time, you know, when you come in, they, 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 they finish handover and they're moving. In fact, from handover, you now be like, <laughs> okay, yeah, now, nice. one, three, <laughs> one, two. You are you know, that, that kind of comedy that <laughs> what are they saying? From there you are lost. Yeah, lost. You understand? But now ah uh, you just walk in like yeah, you know that kind of thing. So that is what time does. That is what consistency does. That is what continuous practice does. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So I just told myself, calm down. You are not less of who you are just give yourself time you yeah. came into an it came into a new yeah. environment and trust me you will do just well yeah. and i think it's a lot easier we are taking in challenges like like you know both man yeah. now because you feel that you've gotten skills and you Training. are settling in well mm -hmm. and all of that but it's not it easy. is what it is <laughs> <laughs> okay let me see from you okay so well Mine wasn't really as horrible as yours, though. <laughs> it wasn't. Some, some are, are better. <laughs> it wasn't. Well, my preceptor... Well, I, I will start from the people that did our OSCE training for us. Because yeah. when we started, we just started with the OSCE training. So, they, you know, they, they helped us to settle a little bit and give us things like... The idea of what we should expect, and, the and some of them would be like they were saying, um, when you go to the ward, please don't get angry when probably the person that has been assigned to you is mm -hmm. not really because it's stressful mm. because he or she is also trying to get the work done, done. and at the same yeah. time have you as wrong. Yeah. yeah, so please, you know, they you know said a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, so when I went there, I already had that mindset of. Yeah. At some point, some this person might not even know that you are there. Yeah. They might even just ignore you mm. to just get this get thing done. done. Because actually, they need to hand over, isn't yeah. it? And you know, when when I started newly, I wasn't staying till the, the dismissal time. We mm. have a particular hour, yeah, you that you go, yeah. So, but the thing, the main thing that was horrible in that work experience is when your colleagues are speaking a different language yeah. you don't even know what they're saying yeah i mean true. they're talking about a patient even up to now mm -hmm. they will be talking about a patient doing saying handover. something <clears throat> not really doing handover because i work in theaters in recovery it's just when you come in the morning not like there's a patient there mm -hmm. because it's only support theaters that will be running at yeah. night so if you come in the morning and you've been posted to the elective side it's just uh, you just do the checks, yeah. you just do the checks, see the cases, go for hot do and all that. And then after that, before you start, you know, they start, the patient starts coming in. Mm. So you get your handover from the anesthetist, you get okay. from the, the scrub nurse, and then you just, and one thing with recovery is, you are you you have to make your decisions yeah. on your own oh. not like inside theater that you have the anesthetist there Tell you have you the surgeon what, yeah. there you have the assistant there you have the odp in recovery you are once they hand that that patient over to you that mm. is your patient and that's the only patient you're going to have so you that take, take on that patient depending if it's a big case like patient that are going to hdu or itu you have to have trust that patient to you take the patient back mm. but if you're really short your staff which is normal in the nhs actually mm. we are always your staff mm. <laughs> so you might find your way so long as the patient doesn't have an airway mm. you've taken the airway out you can take another patient that has an airway yeah. but me i tell myself i cannot take more than two patients at a time if not you're going to mix things up mm. because you're still trying to take those patients back to the world at the same space of time yeah so yeah so the thing is them trying to talk in their language and you don't even know how can you be talking about the theater list for the day talking about the things that are needed for that patient probably this patient has high bmi this patient has this this patient has this patient is autistic or something and you're saying it in it's your language. language and there is another person there when you now this person now talk to somebody and say what so say? what is going on mm. like it's it just makes you feel like you are left out left out exactly and sometimes you go to to work and it's just them in their group that yeah. you're working with 
and you are the only black bad. Sometimes it's not even matter of you're the only black, you're the only person that is from another that language. <laughs> so you if, even have, if you even have someone that is a British or someone that speaks English, this is not serious. You, like you will be okay. That's yes, at least you have somebody that if at least you people are two. So if mm. they say something, they'll try to speak it. But if mm. it's only you, my sister, forget yeah. it. So what do I expect you to do? Like at that point, what what are my sister at that point, do? what you do, for example, there was a day we needed a picture that needed I think the patient needed a PC or something. I was trying to do the PC with some, a, a, you know, another colleague because mm. it's two, two because it's control drugs, so it's yeah. two people. And then the other Indian person, uh, sorry to mention, but the other person came in and then started speaking their language. Yeah. And then the next thing, I just, you know what I did? I just excuse, like, excuse I just, yourself. I just moved, mm. I just moved away, and the two of them did it because mm. the, the girl already came, took mm. what I was doing. They were already speaking in their language yeah, and they're already doing good. it. Yeah, and I'm very, like, very. Ah, what? It, I just I, like much. I just quietly walked away. Yeah, so that's what I do. Yeah. Person. So that's what I do. If if is if it gets to that point, but if it's something that I know this is my patient and this is my responsibility, mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I need to do that, mm-hmm. then I will just ask. Sorry, I can't hear. I don't understand what you're saying. Can you just yeah. speak English? But if it's something that I know that yeah, that's this is is not it's not even my patient. I'm just mm-hmm. doing the second check for you. Of which if I don't do it, I won't sign it. Yeah. yeah. So what's my business? Yeah, I'll true. just leave. So that's one thing. You know, working with different people, yes, because here is multicultural. Yeah. Different people from different people places. You also respect other people's exactly. culture. Exactly. Well. When you are doing it in public, you can yeah. do it in the language room or in the change room. When you come really. out in the public yeah. space and you know that someone else doesn't yeah. speak your language, so, that's, yeah. rude. that's one thing about yeah. the work experience. Yeah, but they are they are really nice, but you won't expect them to be that nice. But mm. at least it's not so manageable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's manageable, you know. And then another thing is I devise the means on how to just tackle it. Like what I said, mm. once when I came newly, when they do those things, it really pisses it me off. Away. Like yeah. it's really irritates me. But recently, ah, uh, it's not it's nothing. Like uh, just uh, walk away. yeah, like I just walk, walk away. away. Yeah. Talk yeah, yeah, talk skin, exactly. So I just I don't take it as anything. I'm like, yeah, yeah because w- even in in, in centers, there are still black people, but most of them we don't speak the same. That they are Nigerians, but we don't even speak. Yeah, the, it's just Zambia, yeah. Zambia. Uh-huh. Then the Nigerians one might be Yoruba from the western part, yeah. from the northern part. So you don't even speak it's your local. Country. Recently, I got one that speaks local, like from Evo. we are from the yeah. same state, yeah. Anambra. So. If you see the way we are, sometimes when they do that in that dream, we just be talking in our dance party. Not talking, they not be looking at you. But the dance, but the dance side, sorry for continuation, but the yeah. dance side of this whole thing is that the person at the center of this whole thing is the patient. patient. Yeah. Exactly. If at the end of the day, I don't get to pass the message. I need to pass right. with you yeah. across to you, and then I don't get to pass the same. The person is suffering. Yeah. So we need to put all these things into consideration. When you are doing all these things. Do this thing you're doing out, how does it benefit right. this patient? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this person you're trying to keep us information to go into or understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I think it's a personal thing. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's a personal true, thing because if we're really thinking, yeah. okay, this person doesn't understand my language, and if I say this in my language, this she person won't understand, understand it, understand. and she won't know what this from this patient. So, mm. in that case, I need to speak something that yeah. you can understand. Yeah. If everyone should think like that, I think it's going to be a better place for no, everybody. You know, you know, you know, it will be like that, like it will be much more needed Easier. if he's in the world. Yeah, at least you know that all of you are just. But the the reason why I say it doesn't even bother me anymore is this is recovery. Once you take handover for that patient, that yeah. is your patient. Yeah. Unless I'm coming to give you a hand or you need yeah. something, and sometimes once they bring a patient, we you you need a lot lot of hand, especially if yeah. it's a very big case. The patient is going to going to ITU. Yeah. There's central line. There's arterial line. There's this. There's that. Yeah. Then you will need extra hands to settle the patient, yeah. right? Yeah. So when they are working and it's all of them that speak the same language. And then I'm just going. I just went there to help the person. And then all of them just troop in mm. on that patient, yeah. and they're all speaking the same, same language. language. I don't even know what you they're saying. Just excuse just yourself. That's that one. Is that that's that's true. That's what I do. But at that point, you can't really do anything. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I just okay. Wait. And you another thing to help. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing is here. If you don't, you know. You know, like if you're waiting for somebody to be the one to tell you, you have to do this competency, you have to do that, mm. you have to mm. do this. Oh, forget it. Mm. You will be lagging you behind for a long time. Your exactly. You have to chase it. You, you, you don't even One thing my manager is good at, she's good at booking trainings for us. Yeah. Yeah. You should know, sometimes I think I'll, I'll just get an email and I'm like, I'm yeah. booked for this I'm training. Yeah, I'll ask her. Do you book? I should be like, yeah, she did. I should go for it. Every week I'm on a training. The thing, when we came newly, you know, there is this problem proper orientation yeah. 
situation that they will give you someone to work with mm-hmm. and this person will put you through on mm-hmm. this yeah. mm-hmm. the, 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 the recent experience one of us had i was telling her she just came in and i was telling her my dear the lady took her book and was signing off her competency without even knowing if she can actually do mm-hmm. those things mm-hmm. you don't teach her you don't you know try to mm-hmm. tell her what to do in the mm-hmm. morning what to do is please do this go and get this go and get it. like you know when the line is here as errand no yeah <laughs> You're not doing the errands, but you but don't even the, the main the thing, thing why you came, you know. Exactly. So yeah, you just have to mm-hmm. take. Your, should I say you should take your future by yourself? And yeah, hold it by your hand. <laughs> and know that if you don't work towards it, or if you don't really know or strategize or make plans or yeah. and all that, you're not really going to meet up and all that. So yeah. yeah. That's it actually. So wow. let's leave other things. It's a whole lot. So <laughs> it's not even yeah, contained in this. Yeah, it's kind of exhausting. Yeah. 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 It's kind of exhausting. Uh, but in my own case, um, I'd say, well, I didn't have a first hand horrible experience mm. because prior to I started um, working, I already made up my mind that this is a total change for me. Mm-hmm. Right. So my mind was already made up. I got to that point where I'm like, Whatever I see, yeah. I take. No one is out here. These people are not out here to favor me. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that came to their country yeah. to work. So I had this men- mindset of whatever I see, I take. But one thing I always had in mind is I would do what I need to do, mm-hmm. but you can't intimidate me. Yes. Yeah. So when I walked in, the first shift I had with them, I didn't know the shifts. One of them said, Why are you so bold? I'm like, what? <laughs> they never, <laughs> they never jump. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what I say, my mind, oh, my boldness rubbing off. It's on okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you expecting me to be intimidated? Yeah. yeah. I am a nurse back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not like, not like I'm. I, yeah. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I am a nurse back home. You know, I even had uh, situations where it was what I don't forget that experience because the lady was looking down on me already on that and it was the first time i was working with her and then we were in the same shift so like this i was supposedly supposed to be her healthcare attendant right? oh, okay. so yeah so she was giving her medications and then she brought one medication to give the patient and, and you know the patient was like um so what does this medication do the first asked her what's the name of this medication mm-hmm. she told her what does this medication do um um hold on let me go and check and then so you push the, so before, he told her. Like, so before she, as she was going back to the then told her. I told the man what the medication is for. Mm. I told the man how the medication works. Mm. And then he was happy to say. And then she looked at me and I looked at her and said, Can I smile? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? Mm-hmm. I yeah. got to get that smile. Yeah. So I, I'm, you get what I'm saying? Because, yeah. and then, I, I, I mean, after that day, she now she started rubbing, she you know she started becoming nice yeah. to me. She knows that you're not just yeah. like, exactly. You know? and, and that's where it comes in. There's two experiences to this thing. Sometimes the terrible experiences we have is because of the way we present ourselves. Yeah. It's not, I'm not saying people don't have it mm-hmm, bad, yeah. but there are some people that the way they present themselves already put you in that situation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Put in that situation yeah. where you end up having a bad experience. Yeah. Because what is the one the sense is that timidity mm-hmm. and that you know that fear the fire, exactly yeah. they now munch on it. Yeah. You know. So I didn't really have that terrible, terrible experience. I think from the from the get go, everyone was lovely. I had lovely um Colleen. practice facilitators. Oh. oh my god. They were so they were on my toes and everybody's toes, you know, mm. the new international nurse on our toes, you know how we're settling in, you know, how you've been treated. They are always ready to fight for you yeah. whenever you feel like you're being, you know, left aside and stuff like that. And truth, I had I had a good preceptor as well. It's actually my colleague now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because what happened is even while I was still like about six months in the job, she was pushing me to go and apply. I was like, mm. oh, man, what are you, what are you doing? She's a really supportive person. Mm. She's a good mm. person. So I had a good experience, and then I had that. I was trying to have bad experiences with the the attendant, but I, I gave them their place. Yeah. Yes, because I, I mean, it's just like you said. I don't know. They just feel like you're, you're coming to take something from mm-hmm. them. And yeah. it's, it's, it's insecurity. Mm-hmm. But that's not how it's supposed to be. You said it before. The center of the whole thing is the patient. Yeah. We're all here to work together to make this person better and yeah. to go home. It doesn't change. Nothing back home and nothing here. It's, it's the same, same thing. thing. Just different patient policies. Is the focus. Mm-hmm. It's just different policies. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to see the person like the person is a nuisance. No. Yeah, you don't no. see the person. You're coming even to then, help this person. Then I, I even started preaching to them. I told them. 
you guys should learn to treat people nice because you cannot leave your country to come to my country to work. Mm -hmm. So if you know how nice you want to be treated, if you left your country to come to my country to work, you should reciprocate the same kindness to True. other people. You don't know what it means for people to pack their bags and call. leave their family. They are, they are trying yeah. to traumatize the environment, and then you are trying to make their life a living hell. I mean, it doesn't work. I was like, do you, you know, these people leave? Would you do their job? Would exactly. you do your job of three persons? Yeah. If because of a bad behavior, You're these people leave. Staff, mm -hmm. You're already short staff. Would you do their job? They are coming to help. If you it. know you won't do it, so why not just be nice? It won't it's take many things to be nice, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think the work experience is just in in twos. You have your bad experience, we have a good experience, mm -hmm. but make sure that the bad experiences you're having is not as a result of the way you present yourself. Yeah. Just like you guys said, keep pushing yourself, keep striving, keep making yourself better. Do not push yourself to a corner where you think like you are not able to do it. I've had, mm. I've, I've had, I mean, I've had the opportunity to work with people where I have to direct, like supervise directly. And you see them, hey, how do you do it? I can't do it. I'm not able to do it. I'm like, you don't can. do that. You, you can't, can't do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I tell them, are you a nurse? Yes. Were you a nurse back home? Were you treating patients? Did, did you have lots of this equipment back home to treat patients? No. And you survived. So what made you think that now you have the availability mm. of this equipment that you can't do better? You still need to believe in that passion that made you go into the profession. Yeah. So you mm. can't do it. You, you definitely can. So the bad, good experiences are always there. They're always marrying each other. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there is light at the end of the tunnel. We'll exactly. come out top. All the time. <laughs> All the time. So I've done my, I've done my own experience. I'm, I like to go welcome, like I was saying, because I didn't have a terrible experience per se, like first-hand terrible experience. Although at some point, you get difficult, difficult to be at some point. And then also, the shift, the timing, what determines your shift is, is people you're working with. Yeah. If you have a good team, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. The health care is amazing. Mm -hmm. That once they come, they know that next first thing they have in is personal care, mm -hmm. personal care, yeah. observation, observation, yeah. tea breaks, you know, mm -hmm. they're just doing, they know what they're doing yeah. and they're helping you. Mm -hmm. But if you have someone that is like, yeah. They make it difficult for you. If you leave your main job, you have to go and start doing those because they're not That's doing it. Exactly. And if you try to tell them, please do this, they're looking at you like, oh, you're commanding me, exactly. telling me what to do. Yeah. But that's not it. This is what you're supposed to do. This is not what you're supposed to be doing normally. But because you're not doing it, I have to come up and do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, it all depends on people you're working with. Yeah. But my own experience, I would say from the first time, like from, from the interview, Mm -hmm. interview was nice and then from the airport they came to pick us up mm -hmm. brought us to brought us here they had uh, this meeting they do weekly mm -hmm. to check check on us yeah we yeah. were in a place all of us the two of us were in the, mm -hmm. in the building mm -hmm. they call us every week mm -hmm. and to check on us ask for what we need mm -hmm. and then the first day we came in they brought food for us and the first day we came mm -hmm. they brought provision groceries everything mm -hmm. like they, they were so nice let me start from that one but the reception was mm -hmm. really nice and then moving forward, they were checking us all the time. And then um, my, my manager too was actually nice. Yeah. Before, when I came in to call her my uniform, she took me down herself yeah. to the laundry to get my uniform measurement and everything. Yeah. So that, that made me like that made me feel she walked with me literally yeah. downstairs to get my ID badge. Yeah. Everything like so I was like, oh nice, good, good. <laughs> it's a good it's a good flat. Yeah. Then my first my first day at work, I'll never forget this, that's this lady. I, I want to go her name, but I want to call her name, but she's really nice. Uh, she knows herself, like, mm. she's really nice. She's good, like, naturally. Yeah. You know, I think that these things are, like, individuals. Yeah. 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 There are people that, they normally, they don't even, they don't even, they can't even yeah. be, yeah. be yeah. bad. They're just yeah. kind yeah. individually. So she's naturally kind. Yeah. Without yeah. you or yeah. other yeah. person, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's just, she's just naturally good. And then she just helps. And then I think she's the one that helps, like, Newly uh, staff in that particular because she's been there for like 26 years. Oh. So she's been in the world like, for a long time. <laughs> she's like a blessing to that world. Mm. But everyone that comes in, she takes you through, shows oh. you things. So you are, and our world is a straightforward world. Mm. Like, if Christian come in and they're out, like 48 mm -hmm. hours, they're oh, out. Okay. I like that type of Or thing. in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the <laughs> hospital, when they get rehab, yeah. the orthopedics, yeah. yeah. So it's straightforward. So, and then if you if you calm down, you learn. And then she told me right from time that. You're not meant to be on, on the ball immediately. Mm. You're, you're new. So yeah. take your time. Don't rush. Yeah. Ask questions. Exactly. Ask questions. And she kept telling me, if you don't know anything, don't do it. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, even in this job, 
even when you, you've been working for years, there are still some situations yes. you still need to, to ask, ask questions. questions. Exactly. Actually, yeah. So you keep you, asking you questions. Yeah. 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 Even when I made even when I made the mistakes that I made, they were like, it's fine, it's not your fault. Mm. But what we'd have done was to ask questions. Yeah. At that point, yeah. you didn't know this, ask yeah. questions. I remember that told me that she was like, fine, you go yeah. reflect, do the training, do the competency, get mm-hmm. it, get the competence, and then that was it. She didn't make it like a uh, very yeah. 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 they, they, they made me know that this is normal for everybody that yeah. is in you during the qualified staff. Yeah. Well, but, to exactly. Yeah. They, my, my, my deputy manager told me that even he made his own mistakes as well. Mm-hmm. The only thing was that I could have asked questions. That would have mm-hmm. changed it. And I understood that. Because I, 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 I didn't ask questions. I felt like, oh, this is this. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. that is yeah. not yeah. it. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So, that was just it. That, that that part from that part they are good and then it's not individual just like you said mm. when you're working and you're confident in yourself mm-hmm. that 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 believing in you mm-hmm. and when you're less confident they're like exactly. don't, they don't they trust you with your patient you don't know what you're going to do yeah. they'll be like oh did that one just leave her mm-hmm. but if you're confident and you're like you know what you're doing you know your own yeah, yeah. do you know what i'm saying they're like oh she's good and mm-hmm. even recommend you they're talking they respect you mm-hmm. and they do one thing you are not good. They are talking. Did they ignore you? They ignore you exactly. They ignore you. They prove you that you are know, If yeah. you are really good, you know what you are saying. Yeah. And they are talking. You are chipping in your own. Yeah. They are listening yeah. to you. Yeah. They are really they are really, opinion, exactly. But if you don't know where, you are going to. <laughs> Nobody is going to listen true. to you. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they are really. I think they are everywhere. Board yeah. round. Really board round. They talk mm-hmm. about patients and yeah, everything. MDT. That's where you have to say. No, MD. MD is when you have a patient that needs. They don't have mm-hmm. a. Capacity. Mm-mm, that one is for oh, us. Best interest. Best interest. We are um, we call it MDC. MDC. every yeah, morning. Yeah, oh, that one. I want to board round. I want to board round. That one is board round. They call it. Things different. Yeah, maybe it's different. Most disciplinary team. That's what it is. I think I want to board round. That's what we call it. Anyway, so that's where we tell anybody that they're calling have to fix your therapy. Then they're okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 So you tell about the patient and then mm. if you don't have any update on the patient at that point those mm. can tell you okay this mm. is what they're doing for this mm. patient at this mm. point this is the plan this is what they're doing for this patient that you get it at that mm. point so it also depends on that's what i always say it also depends on individual that's why you have to make a difference on your own self try to be confident mm. if you don't know anything ask questions as a new qualified staff you don't mean to know everything mm-hmm. number one you're moving out from a different company so you're dropping mm-hmm. all the whole policies you got from your mm-hmm. from your country where mm-hmm. you worked previously you're embracing a new policy they mm-hmm. have different equipment you have to reach okay. get training retraining yeah. it was like you get before you come yeah. and learn so so many things but then you do it I get to this point you're doing amazing i'm mm-hmm. i'm actually advised at this point <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah that's uh, my experience yeah. so far then on the part of the bad experience is actually the the tiny tiny it's i call it it's a it's because yeah. it doesn't really get to me yeah because yeah. if i leave my country yeah after so cool, three years mm-hmm. and come here yeah that's what i'm doing is not i'm not seeing it yeah. you know I'm, my world. i have what i'm going to and you're not even part of it yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean the agenda so I'm not going to I'm going to ignore you. Mm. I will do that thing I don't want to do. I'm not going to I'm going to do it if you ignore me. I will ignore you mm. and I'll do it and I won't make it put my patient to, to hand because if anything happens, it offers back to exactly. Yeah. That's, that's so why I will not I'm telling you, see, I won't even let you to even yeah. get me into trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Say. So that's the other thing. And then ask questions, to be honest, questions and then questions and questions. Yeah, because when I came in I could remember I think about one month or so, one of a nigerian but mm-hmm. she has been in the uk for a very long time mm-hmm. so she was kind of i was she was i was shadowing her that mm-hmm. day so i i asked her something and i noticed she was not so um mm-hmm. kind answering yeah. just like i uh, she said and i always know mm-hmm. everything in this life is individualized mm-hmm. i keep telling you there's no bad country there's yeah. no bad state there's yeah, no bad well. region it is the individual exactly, yeah. yeah so it can come anywhere yeah. so she was not too kind and she did it like i told myself i didn't want it to get to me because I, as i said i didn't want fear mm-hmm. to come into me mm-hmm. so i i kept on asking her a question and i noticed she noticed herself she realized herself <laughs> that she was very rude yeah so she came by herself and and I'm right. yes she said i'm sorry i've been very this throughout oh, today yeah. but i i just came out from a night shift i'm tired and i'm mm-hmm. like 
Oh, Everyone is tired. Nice. 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 But the point is that when you are showing sure answers, and again, I just want to advise you as you, you came in, don't stop asking too much questions. When you ask too much questions, I'm coming, just hold on. When you ask too much questions, they feel that you don't know anything. They report you to the manager that you, you are um less competent and all of that. And and I looked at her, I said, I will keep asking questions. Like exactly. See, Jesus Christ. Like the way I do that, I said, I will keep asking questions. You know why? Okay. I said because if I make a mistake. I'm not just going to report it to the manager. My patient is at risk. A lot of things is at risk. So it's better they even if they will anyway. Let them report to the question. Then they say you don't ask and you make mistakes. So please be very careful when people tell you some certain things. Weigh it because you'll be like, oh, this one I respect her because she's been here and all of that. Okay, and she told me this. Oh more ask questions ask no matter more. the one like they will tell us when you are doing your risk assessments and stuff they'll be like it's better to bleep a special team mm -hmm. and yeah. they come and yeah. tell yeah. me yeah. no need everything can you, you said i'm not bleeping them yeah. and mm -hmm. i can hmm, well, that time if anything like happens if anything yeah. happens so it's always better to be proactive and yeah. you know believe in yourself honestly sure you are good Guys, okay. so we've exhausted oh, this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to say we've exhausted it because I'm really. sure that that's something yeah, that we need time, to talk okay. about. Time exactly. <laughs> so, but I believe that you guys have picked one or two things from our all our experiences and everything that we've talked about here. If you have any questions, put it in the, in the comment section, and I'll be sure. To, sorry, I'll be sure to answer your question. Guys, yeah, so uh, finally, <laughs> uh, let's talk about. Uh, not talk about let's say uh what is going to be like your advice to people trying to come to Nigeria, to come to the uk let's say uh young nurses all over the world all over the world anywhere at all nigeria ghana zimbabwe anywhere at all what was your advice to them what do you think you can tell them uh as a new immigrant or as a new nurse uh hunting for work stuff like that what was going to be your advice to to them okay well i'll just keep it simple not that i've stayed here much but added to life experiences and all stuff i'll just say enjoy any moment you find yourself mm -hmm. if you are back home in your country enjoy the moment because yeah. truthfully there is no place that is without its challenges yeah. right so when you are very quick to leave at all costs trust me sometimes you will look back to say ah if it was when we were back yeah. home do you understand mm -hmm. like for example one of the challenges i faced when i, I started work about the um assistance the nursing mm -hmm. assistance right so i always say if it was back home no nurses don't get treated like this by those yeah. people you, you they they don't yeah. so sometimes you know you get something to miss again so yeah. at any point you are you and your country now enjoy the moment mm -hmm. you are you want to relocate that's fine absolutely okay so when you come over you enjoy mm -hmm. also the moment and then yeah. brace up to challenges as well you're going to mm -hmm. meet so don't be very fast to jump any stage of your yeah. life just yeah. enjoy the moment yeah and then keep pushing you get to your dreams right yeah. that's a nice one thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right sarah let's hear from you yeah well it's true like for everyone everywhere now it's quite difficult getting offers yeah. and all that and the cbt thing has also been you know Crazy. kind of yeah because of just few centers to write the exam. Mm, that's in Nigeria, that. isn't it? Yeah, in, mm. just in Nigeria, actually. But I don't think it's like that's in other African countries. But I would say, just keep looking at the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Don't, you know, it's difficult. It's a difficult um, process, mm. honestly. There are some people that find it easy all the way. Yeah. But like, there, there is, like for me, I didn't have issues with the IELTS. I didn't have issues with the CBT. I didn't have issues with OSCE getting my pain. But the thing I had issue with was <laughs> my verification. <laughs> oh, verification. I was just saying job. <laughs> verification. Right. <laughs> my verification took six months plus wow. before I was verified. So I didn't get, like, there was no difficulty in passing the exams and other things. But I had a delay as well. Mm -hmm. And that was verification Once, at yeah. some point. So... It can be, you know, going smoothly and, and maybe there are people that didn't have any, you know, any Issue. issues on, on the process or along the line. Mm -hmm. But even if you face a challenge, just know that, yeah, it just doesn't 
you know go as as easy it's not that easy going like mm-hmm. we think or like it, it was for your friend don't always compare yourself with others and be like ah the other person did it and she left within one year or within six months no you're not that person everyone has their you know their time and everything so just take it easy and definitely things will fall in place yeah, thank you. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> thank you. Um, All right. I don't okay. think there is anything different I'm going to say from what you guys already said. But I'm just going to say that, I mean, we all have different situations, what we want to leave where we are currently. Mm-hmm. And we all have different situations and pressures as well that we are facing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, for those back home as well and um, to other places um, people are watching from. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing I would say is, You've, whatever point and whatever stage you are, you've overcame um, a hurdle already yeah. to get to that point. point. So just keep pushing and keep thriving. You mm-hmm. will get there. You even get something better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just like someone said, do not compare yourself with your colleagues and say, oh, this person got this, this person got that. Don't worry about it. Just stay focused on what you are doing already. Stay focused on your process. Everything will pan out as you should. Yeah. and congratulations in advance oh yes <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for that Please don't forget in your career in your practicing nurse or coming over to the uk everywhere you are just be yourself be confident and also when you are in the job ask questions Look we'll go to your managers because every shift have we have charge nurses and everybody mm, there they yeah. put to manager manager which at each point you're confused go to your manager go to your child you nurse know, always ask questions do not do anything that you are not competent sure. to do you're not sure of do not do it always ask questions mm-hmm. nobody should come and tell you that if you ask questions look, look at you i don't know anything they look at you that you don't know anything mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. answer that one mm-hmm. but don't put your species at yeah. risk mm-hmm. that you don't know anything don't don't yeah. do it ask questions okay and i hope you guys are able to pick one or two things from all we have seen said and thank you all for watching this video if you do enjoy this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel please. <laughs> click on the subscribe yeah, button please, and subscribe please. to the channel and also leave a comment okay and i'll see you all in my next video okay bye, bye. bye. bye.